Hello, I'm Rod Pinkston and welcome to another episode of Jaeger Pro. I'd like to introduce you to a retired soldier we hired in January by the name of Josh Viglin. He's smart, disciplined, and easily transferred his combat skills against a two-legged enemy to a four-legged invasive species. Let's watch him work on a sounder at our Webster County project using the most efficient process and products while teaching the art and science of integrated wild pig control. Hello, I'm Josh Viegland, hog control operator at Jaeger Pro. Up next, we'll take a look at a sounder that proves to press my patience. This week's mission will focus on removing a sounder from an area we call Web South. This area is the perfect recipe for wild pig habitat. Thick vegetation providing concealment from predators with year-round water sources for bathing and drinking purposes, and an abundance of natural food choices. We've been working the far east portion of the area for a couple months with great success. While scouting the western edge of the property, a recent rain captures the sounder's footprints in the now dry Georgia clay. After further review, the tracks lead us down to an old food plot. This area will be a perfect spot for feeder and trap placement. As I mentioned earlier, we've been working the east side of the web footprint. Here is a graphic representation of web east to give you an idea of how the area is laid out. Trail cameras on Web East show no sign of pigs in the area at this time. As you can see, the two areas are over three quarters of a mile apart as the crow flies. Plenty of distance for a second trap area, and depending on their success, this may be a permanent trap location for future operations. We are now located at the food plot and spend some time assessing the area. Heavy travel trails in and out of the food plot provide enough intel to get a feeder and mine camera set up in the area. With cooler winter temperatures during the evenings, these pigs will be on the move looking for their next meal. It's January 20th, and we don't waste any time at getting a game feeder set up and filled with corn. With the evening temps in the upper 30s and 40s, I'm confident we will have camera intel throughout the night. As expected, the next morning I checked the Jaeger Pro Mobile app for pictures and we have our first look at the intended target. Sounder Intel verifies seven adults. Our performance standard is 100% success, which means we must remove all seven pigs, expending the least amount of fuel, time, labor, and money. After several days of conditioning the pigs to the feeder, we head to Web South for additional intel. Which direction did they approach from? Which way did they exit the area? This will all be valuable information for gate placement when we are ready to construct the trap. Now that the sounder has been conditioned to the feeder, we decide it's time to construct the trap. As we begin to set up the enclosure, I remember an old homemade box trap on the neighboring property not too far away. It doesn't look like they spent too much time or effort in the process of making the trap and can lead to educating an entire sounder. That has me thinking, has this sounder been exposed to that enclosure? I decide to take an extra step in the conditioning process. We take 8 of the 12 panels and form them into two separate squares. This allows the entire trap to be placed, but gives them more freedom to walk in and out of feeding while still getting used to the newly constructed enclosure. Next, I run a bait trail from the center of the feeder to the threshold of the gate. I want them to approach and enter through the gate for conditioning purposes. If they decide not to enter through the gate, that's fine. We are conditioning them to the trap's presence. After several days and the sound is showing up like clockwork, it's time to get that trap 100% operational and ready for a capture. Will those few extra days of conditioning pay off in the end? I'm sure hoping so. With the trap set up and ready for a capture, I place a bucket of sour corn directly under the feeder 
and run a light bait trail to the threshold of the gate. I'm giving them just a taste at the gate. Once they see and smell that pile of sour corn, they won't resist entering. Well, that's my thoughts anyways. After several days, I'm not seeing the entire sounder. I'll get a pick of one or two in the trap feeding, but that's it. What happened? I need to be patient and play this out. 100% capture is the only way I'm dropping these gates. Two days later, I get a photo from the mine camera showing 10 pigs. Our original sounder of seven has plussed up by three. It's time to pull some stealth cam footage and study their behavior in and around the gates. As expected, these pigs are nervous and jumpy when approaching. A few seconds later, we witness a pig competing for food with others and bumps the panel. That noise was enough to set the sounder off and run for safety. Several hours go by and guess who's back for some more food. This time the stealth cam on the left gate catches them. Jumpy as all can be, here we go again. At this point, I'm not sure if they'll ever come back. After several days and no signs of pigs, they're back and it looks like the sounder has been recruiting. Mine camera intel shows the sounder has increased to 13. Maybe, just maybe, I can get these guys in the trap. The temperature has dropped to 27 degrees and we have a hungry sounder in and around the enclosure. To have 100% success, I now need to trap all 13 with no survivors. The next night, I'm focused on monitoring the Jaeger Pro app and the live video camera. At approximately 1 a.m., my phone sounds off with an alert. The sounder is back and all 13 are in the trap. It's go time. With the push of a button, I trigger the drop gate command on my phone. Both gates drop flawlessly and I have all 13. At this point, I'm ecstatic. Three weeks I've been working this sounder and I came out on top. I arrive within the hour after trapping the entire sounder. I need to act fast and euthanize all 13. Weapon of choice is a suppressed rifle chambered in 22 long rifle. Looks like we have a pile of pork to load up. Not only am I happy, but I guarantee you the landowner will be satisfied. Remember, when dealing with a sounder that has been educated or just plain jumpy, patience is the key. Outstanding job, Josh. You're gonna fit in here just fine. Well, thank you for watching this week's episode of Jaeger Pro, the art and science of integrated wild pig control. Army trained, combat tested, farmer approved. We'll see you next week. Call or visit us on the web to purchase the latest equipment or learn more about the process and products needed to eliminate feral pig populations on your property. Be sure to visit our YouTube channel to view our entire instructional video series. Once online, keep clicking and like the Jaeger Pro Hall Control Systems Facebook page. If you have a story idea or just want to leave us a comment or suggestion, feel free to email us at info at jaegerpro.com.